it's finally here then match day at meta lane next episode of it's all black and white our first episode with Stuart maynard as manager i'm super excited for this game it feels like a lifetime since we've been down there and ever more exciting because you know like i've just said it's maynard's first game in charge uh, i'm sure we get a you know a huge cheer from the the crowd as he comes out and again i'm looking forward to you know we've had an addition will we see him in uh, who knows um it's quite early on in the day it's about nine o'clock got plenty to do today i'm um, really looking forward to the game I am gutted that I'll be missing the game today. Um, I was thinking that last week I'd be able to see Stuart Maynard's first game as Notts manager against Stockport. Obviously called off and then uh, I'm not available to go to this Barrow game, which is one of the very, very few home games that I've missed in the last three or four, five seasons, really, which is, is pretty gutting. But um, I'll be keeping up to date. George will be letting me know what's happening, so will the lads. Um, and they'll be telling me how we set up under Stuart Maynard. I'm very much hoping we are a lot tighter. Um, I'm hoping that we... We don't see a repeat of a 10-goal game or the nine-goal games we've seen in, in recent times. I'd honestly take a 1-0 scrappy win just against this Barrow side that are very, very good. Um, I'm excited to hear how, how Warner gets on as well. I think he'll slot straight into the lineup. We put that, that on Twitter this morning and everyone said they want him straight in the lineup in that right centre-back position. A couple of people said they want him in the centre. Um, I think we'll stick with the same formation. Jaden Warner on the right-hand side. I think we'll go Baldwin on the centre of the defence and on the left we'll go Kyle Cameron. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. A very, very tough game, but... You think if we want to mount anything towards an automatic push, this is really crunch time for us with the games we've got. We've got to get a win today. Barrow, not in amazing form. They've played some difficult sides over the past few weeks. But I'm, I'm really, really hoping we get the Stuart Maynard era off to a positive start. I'm just at the retail park now, about two minutes away from the ground. Uh, team news has just come out. It's just gone to o'clock. Um... Sort of as expected, I suppose, other than maybe Warner. I may, maybe a little bit disappointed not to see him start. Uh, the back three is Baldwin, Brindley and Cameron in no particular order. Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed, but I'm sure we'll see a, a little bit of Warner. Maybe it's just a little bit too early for him with, with fitness and things like that. Uh, Stone's in goal as well. Um, I wonder if we will actually see Ashby Hammond. Um, but I mean, Stone, he's been okay. Um We'll see how he gets on in today's game, but it, you know it's promising to be a massive game. You know I'm really looking forward to it. New manager bounce, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way down there now. Should be about two or three minutes till, till I'm down there. Just need to uh, pick something up from from the retail park, and then I'm going to meet Jordan in the navigation. <laughs> sit down before the game starts. I bumped into my good friend Jordan. Jordan, what are your thoughts on the game today? Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Obviously, first game in charge. I don't know how much difference there's going to be. I think he's giving everyone a chance to show what they're worth before he probably changes things up a bit. But, no, I'm looking forward to it. Should be good. The players are ready. About three minutes into the game now, Knott's had a decent chance. Jones takes on his man and then puts in a, like an outswinging cross. It doesn't fall very well though for anyone really in the box and then cleared. Uh, Barrow then goal the other end, uh, falls nicely for their striker as it's just come over Brindley's head. Uh, takes the shot first time, it just goes wide. Um, bit of a lively opening to the game really. Barrow had the best chance of the game, only a minute after the last bit that I made. It's fed through to their striker, one on one with Stone. Stone pulls off a really good save and then bounces back out to their player. Takes a shot first time again and Stone makes the second save. It's the corner to Barrow, but really good start from Stone um, and three really good chances for Barrow. Not sustaining a bit of pressure there. Um, a few corners from Barrow. Uh, seems to get a bit of a more of a hold on the game. It's, we need to get on the ball a bit more, get through the lines a bit. Um, yeah, we haven't really had any clear cut chances of yet, so make some clear cut chances, get into the game a bit more, and we'll have a chance. And only a few seconds after Jordan makes that last clip, Barrow go 1-0 up. A very sloppy goal to concede. We just look, at, look a little bit too open in the middle of the half, I think. But Barrow have to take an advantage of that two or three times now. Um, and this time, you know, 
they've, they've been fortunate enough to score a bit of a sloppy goal really sort of headed down and sort of bound, bound into the, the far corner but nevertheless it's it's one nil barrow and to be fair to be fair to them i, I think the value for it for the last five ten minutes of play about seven or eight minutes out till half time barrow having the better of it really not, not really had any clear cut chances one or two crosses that have ended up looking like shots on target um but Barrow have had some really good chances and they're just doing the same thing, feeding a high ball over our defender that's dropping nicely to their man and then they're, they're, they're through on goal. Um, they've got a corner here now from one of their chances that was put off away by Bostock. Yeah, we, we, we really need to regroup, I think, at half time and maybe change a couple of things because it's really not working what we're doing, I don't think. Barrow have been the better team. I think we just need to regroup at half time now. It's 1-1. It's half time then at the lane. It's currently Knots 1, Barrow 1. Uh, quite an open game really. I think Barrow had the better of it to be honest. I think to be honest, if they went in at half time and it was 1-0, there would have been value for it. Uh, but Knots do what they do best and, and they got one back. No man with a, you know, a bit of a poacher's goal really at the far post. Um, Jordan got a notification on his phone saying that Jody Jones has equaled the League 2 uh, assist record already. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think it bounced off somebody in the box, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but so far, so good. I think we're doing okay to be in at half time. Uh, and it's 1 1. So hopefully, regroup, change a couple of things maybe, um, and take it on from there. Just over five minutes into the second half. Uh, not started fairly brightly to be fair, a couple of chances and a corner, nothing really come of it. Barrow probably just had the best chance of the second half. They're really exploiting their left hand side which would be our right hand side, so down the man's side. And they're having quite a lot of look down there. Um, their player was pretty much through one on one there, um, but unfortunately couldn't find the target. Um, they're a good side these are, I don't think we're playing that badly, I just think they're really exploiting uh, our areas that we need to improve on. So, uh, it's 1-1, I'm hoping we can nick a goal. Just over the hour mark now. No real, no team's having a real breakthrough, to be honest. Um, not, I'd say, having most of the possession. Just not doing a great deal with it. But yeah, the game has gone a little bit stale, to be honest. Um, I think it would be the ideal time for a change, really, just to, to liven the game up a little bit. Um, maybe we'll see Warner, but it, it's one of those, isn't it? A defensive substitution is a little bit strange. Yeah, put Toby on. Uh, I'd be open to that. Um, yeah, I, I think I think we need to change something now. Just insert a little bit of something. It could change the game because at the moment it's just it's very flat and it doesn't really seem like either team are going to score. Big big shouts for a penalty there from the cop who got the best view of it really in the stadium. Um, Jody is turning his man inside out, puts the ball in. It comes to Maka's feet. He's got two defenders on him and they're taking. It looks like they're taking lumps out of him up here. Um, ref's not giving it though. Uh, but I think that could, could have been a turning point in the game. Uh, it, was, it was a decent chance. We just need to build on that now. Jones gets cynically fouled, I think, again. Um, we're on the counter, which has happened a couple of times. Same person as well, Jones. And he's taken out. The, the ref gives him a yellow straight away, but also a red card, and rightly so. Um, a, li a little bit of uh, a tip as well in the, in the technical area between management and staff. But the refs really lost the game, I think, with that decision. Um, all quiet. It's definitely a red card. Yeah, exactly. It was off the floor. It's a free kick. We've taken it short. Uh, there's about 10 or 15 minutes left, I'd say, to play. I think that is the best chance not to fight of this second half. Jones curls a, a really nice cross in for, for Langstaff. It just didn't fall that nice to him. But uh, it was unfortunate. We couldn't find the target. Um, but we need to keep building on this. I really want to beat these now. Uh, after that, them dirty challenges that we, we've seen uh, on Jones, we, we definitely can do it. We're, we're having the chances. We're having little breakthroughs, but they are sat really deep. It ends 1-1 one, one then. A draw. I suppose on paper you take it, but you know, we're not. We want to be winning our games at home. Uh, well, we want to be winning as many games as we can, really. Um, so a little bit disappointed. I think we had the chances. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, 
Barrow came here, they, they were very defensive. They always seemed to have a lot of players behind the ball. The only time we really had, you know, some decent chances was when they were on the attack um, and we sort of counted on them. Uh, and unfortunately, two of those times, Jody was hacked down. I uh, think they should have had a red today. Um, I think their management staff uh, lacked a little bit of class as well in that second half. I've seen them going at fans. Uh, I, don't, I don't really think they should be doing things like that. But I suppose that's not really all that important. But, um, yeah, a little bit good to be honest. I think, I think that game was there to, to be won. Uh, we just struggled to break them down a little bit. It looks like you know, the defence has shored up a little bit. But Bar Barrow didn't really offer too much uh, in terms of attacking. Um, so I'm not sure. Time will tell, I suppose, in terms of defensive improvements. Uh, but yeah, that is the video. I'm going to head down now with Jordan to the navigation to have a drink before we head off home. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like uh, and subscribe if you don't already and comment what you thought of the game.